Hey guys, Amp here, bringing you the second part of my eye color change tutorial in Affinity Photo. Uh, this part of the tutorial is going to be focused on brown eyes, and in the previous video we discussed how to change blue eyes. Now brown eyes are a little bit different, but they start out the same way, so we're going to zoom in here. And come over here and grab the elliptical marquee tool, and we're going to make a rough selection around here. I'm going to hit the control key again. Make a, another selection. Uh, let's redo. We can just redo this one. And like the last tutorial, we're going to come up to the select panel at the top. Come down to feather. This one I'm going to feather a little bit less than the other one. It's a different sized photo, so we're going to choose 10 pixels to get that right. Hit apply. And over here in the adjustments layer, we added a hue, saturation, luminance last time, but we're going to add a black and white. And we're just going to leave that, and then we're going to add a recolor. Now this does not look natural, and before we chose to hit the color, but that doesn't look as good as this. So we're going to choose overlay, but we're going to bring the saturation level way down, maybe around... 70 percent ish and right now you change the color i think we're gonna bring it down and if you can slide the eye color you can adjust the saturation level for each part so i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna make some blue eyes and you can adjust the saturation however you see fit think right there should be pretty good and again like the last tutorial we're going to come over here and add shadow and highlights and adjust the highlights level to see just right how we can get it and I think right there looks good and again, we're going to come over to the Layers panel and select all of the layers. Bring it down into a group. And you can see if I go and turn the group off, it changes the color. And we're going to add a mask and come over here and grab the brush tool. And I'm going to bring the width of the brush way down and just kind of paint over the areas of where I want it to be I want to get rid of the blue and just allow the brown now you can zoom in however you like and you get it just right for wherever your image will be and that looks pretty good we can zoom out and we can deselect everything and see how the eyes turn out. Now they turn out pretty good. I could go around and get a little more done with the brown here with the selection. Probably feathered it just a little too much. I didn't select the marquee good enough, but it's just a quick one. Uh, you guys can change that effect. Our pupils did dilate just a bit, but I think I'm fine with that. It looks pretty good. And uh, so that's the end of this tutorial. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and check out my other Affinity tutorials. Um, more is on the way, and I will also be getting into Affinity Designer. I'm not as good with the vector programs yet, so I'm learning Affinity Designer. So uh, more Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo tutorials are coming down the works. So thanks for watching, and subscribe for more.